What's good, beautiful people? It's Nicole Chantal here, back again with another new video. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for tuning back in. So I know you guys have read by today's title, and today I am collaborating with none other than Miss Consistency herself, aka Shalmika Patel, in this one, period. I'm going to let her introduce herself right now. By the way, it is a virtual um, collaboration, so if you're wondering why she's not here with me, it is a virtual collaboration, and let me just let her introduce herself first. What's up guys? It's your girl Shmika Patel for all the new people joining us here today. Welcome and for all the returning subscribers, this is another little video by your faves. Now, as you guys already have by the time you guys know what we're doing today. And today today we are going to be doing a little girl talk. You know, we're, we're giving you guys just a little some 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 some. So let's get into the video. Cause I'm icy, wifey, all haters wanna fight me Never been the one get RP up on a white tee Keep my hands clean, got some haters moving shite Ask me if I'm wrong, I'm awesome, Gucci, bitch, I might be It's very unlikely, my wrist ain't looking icy Charging by the minute, cause my time is very pricey Bougie when I'm broke, so I'm bougie when I'm popping I The first question is, how do you, how to stay motivated and inspired? So recently I learned that, wait, by recently I mean after I wrote these questions I learned that motivation and inspiration is quite temporary and inspiration can sort of filter your own creativity so in order to conquer that i try to do something that brings out the best in me so i will try watch something or listen to something or do something like drawing painting anything that can bring out the creative side of me or anything that can bring out the structured side of me you know we both are creative and we are both um structural at the same time i'm always giving the steps on my channel and it's to cut off toxic people like you are you need to get people in your life that motivate you that are not toxic that like you know inspire you that hype you up if you don't have such people and if you get what i'm saying like if you're always going to be surrounded with people that are toxic that don't want to see you happy like what's the point what's the point like i was saying in one of my girl talks i mentioned that you need to cut people off like and follow people on instagram that are actually actually how can i say you know those people that motivate you that inspire you because if you are following people on instagram that edit their videos and all that stuff and just portray this image of them being perfect and stuff like that obviously you're gonna be insecure because you're gonna think that's perfect and you look at yourself and then you see this and this and you're like nah Nah, then you start becoming insecure. So, and also to stay motivated, I wake up early. Like, I wake up early because I know that I can get a lot done. And, yeah. Like, I just do a lot of, a lot of things. And another tip. <laughs> I also have every Sundays the self-care Sunday. Like, there's no one Sunday where I'm going to go without a little self-care, little something, little mask, little, you know, shape here and there. Like, what are we doing if we don't do that? What are we doing? Okay. The next question is what's your toxic trait? I think one of my toxic traits would be and I know it's bad, like this is really bad. Um I don't listen to people. What's your toxic traits? Oh girl, I'm petty. Like if I I don't listen to you, like I just feel like I am me, I can do my own thing, guys. The only people I listen to is like people that are actually that I need to listen to, like elders. But if you come in to tell me do this and do that. Like, no, you're not gonna control me. Like, you're not gonna, I'm not gonna listen to you. Like, I can be very petty sometimes. I am a petty, okay? I am petty. I am most petty. I am, yeah, no. <laughs> but I'm learning how to, I'm learning how to change that, you know? But, yeah, I think I can be very, like, oh, damn. But yeah, like I'm saying, I'll only listen to people that I actually need to listen to. But if you think you would come control me, ugh, no, that's not going to happen. That really isn't going to happen, but yeah. I can be petty. That's my biggest toxic trait. Obviously, you don't just have one toxic trait, but pettiness is my biggest. And I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. Because some people don't even deserve my pettiness, okay? That's a little bit of energy that I'm putting into you. And not everyone deserves that bit of energy now. Nah, you don't deserve it. I'm not going to give you that slice or piece of satisfaction now. Nah. I'm just going to let you be. And you're going to look like a pop. That's you. <laughs> the next question says, what is better, shaving or waxing? Personally, I feel shaving is better. 
um by the cookie but the, uh, here 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 the only place that i would wax is my face i haven't tried waxing my armpits and uh palm day type of thing i'm a person who gets extreme razor bumps shaving bumps ingrowns all of that type of stuff and um shaving cream burns so i would prefer waxing over shaving but i've never waxed because i have a pain tolerance this small so mm, maybe like in the future i'll start doing that but right now i just find it really easier because like oof, i don't want the pain <laughs> so that's why i never waxed but i would really really like to get a wax because i cannot handle anything that i've tried which is shaving creams razors anything other than a wax that i've tried has given me a very weird reaction and also my body skin is quite sensitive like yes she's a tough girl because i've learned what she likes and what she doesn't like but my body does not like razors my body does not like creams my body is very sensitive so I would prefer waxing, but I also feel like the pulling and the tugging, it will also hurt my skin. I don't know, I, I just have to try it out. But preferably waxing, but what am I doing right now? Shaving razors, unfortunately. The next question is, what's your take on talking stage? I see I get once. If you don't like me in three hours, what are we doing? Girl. No. Um... I feel like a talking stage is needed <laughs> a lot of people be like let's just kind of get to know each other then it's like damn you're walking into something that's yay talking stage is 13 hours 14th hour see Jola. next day we are getting married it's cool man eh? i've been telling cool man, guys mm -mm. you guys have a, lot, have a lot to say i talk a lot ne? But I don't have time for talking stages. And for me, I have done the talking for one month and then getting cast. Uh, this this is they work. I feel like you're gonna have to give me some like three months, three months. But like, if you're the one with the one, like <laughs> you know, but give me three months. But also, like, I feel like we need to have a friendship before we start talking. Like, if we come sticking too much flirting, you know, that stuff, like, mm, let's just get to know each other. We friends, we friends, I wish I could cool like that, but we're not busy. You know, but then after that, you know, you know. Please don't waste my time. Do you like me or not? Let's go get married. Home affairs tomorrow at 9 a.m. What's keeping you? What's stopping you? What's stopping you? Nah, please, eh? I think the only thing that should exist in talking stage is the date, the time, and which home affairs. <laughs> we are about to go and sign those marriage certificates, maybe. I'm, I'm not about to waste your time. But I definitely feel a talking stage is needed because without that, you don't know the person. And then once you get into a relationship, it's just a flop because you feel like, them. I know that you do this shit before. Wait. You know? So, yeah. What are, we, what are we talking about if we are not discussing the colors of our wedding? Like, why are you wasting my time? You know, but seriously, <laughs> I think talking stages are a waste of time. The next question says, establishing boundaries and standards between friends and romantic partners, how to go about it. Um, now, here's the thing, right? <sighs> you, you tell them. Tell them. When it comes to relationships and um, friendships, if people don't respect what you stand for or like the boundaries that you set, then you need, to, you need to cut them off. Like, I'm always on the cut people off, guys. People need to learn to respect you. Like, respect always needs to be there. It depends. A lot of childhood friends, unfortunately, do not have boundaries because we were kids. What did we know about setting boundaries, Sharon? Okay, but, okay. Um, I guess it's an honest conversation. It, de it also depends on what type of friends you have. And how to go about it. I would say, you know, just have a little young talk with them. Like, them not that hard like you know what this and this and that and if you can't respect that and don't don't settle for less on some no we can't do this because um he just doesn't want to do it or like he can't do this he can't call you at night because he's tired like do it if you have friends that will understand what you're trying to say and take your emotions and your feelings without making you feel some type of way then it's worth having a conversation with but you can't if you if you even whoa come back girl if you can't even have that conversation with your friends then 
uh, consider getting new friends, okay? I'm not, I'm not here to tell you what to do and what not to do, but I promise you, if your friend has a problem with you expressing how you feel and how you don't like what they did to you or how you don't like what they're doing to you, then they're not your friend, trust me. Just trust me. Like, I'm not gonna sit over late. Like, like I have this, like, I, I want this, and if you're not gonna give me that, then you, you're gonna have to leave. I'm not settling for less anymore where you need to come to the point where it's like them. Now you know relationship, think about some you are deserve better and all that stuff. And that's gonna break the relationship. So don't get into a relationship with someone that's not ready for you know your foot up. But yeah. The next question is how uh, are you okay with your man flirting with other girls? First of all, that is not my man. <laughs> Girl <laughs> Personally, I feel like if you're gonna go play with other girls, then leave me alone. Like, no. Why is someone called my man flirting with other girls? Am I not? That is not my man. Like, I wish up now. You can be friendly and all that stuff with my friends only. Or my friends only, and he's girly friends. Oh. But at the same time, you're not gonna flirt with other girls while you cuff with me. Like, you're not gonna do that and if you feel like you can do that i'll go get someone that's not gonna do that because i don't know like i don't want that what is the question are you okay with your man i'm not okay with it at all like what makes you so comfortable to flirt with other girls to a point where it's brought up to my attention that is weird okay don't do that that is slimy as hell Th this is what i was talking about single boyfriends like you guys have girlfriends you guys are boyfriends but you're single at the same time make up your mind which which side are you on which which side of the court are you on because it's either you're single or you're with me and you're not flirting with anyone else like that's just slimy as hell please don't do that i'm not okay with it at all but yeah i just feel like you don't want me to do it why you want to do it like why you want to do it and you want to come tell me don't get touched because now these girlies know that you're in a relationship, but you flirting with them, they're gonna think, oh, I can be your sneaky link. No, you can't. No, you can't be sneaky link. I don't want nothing. How do you how do you boost your self-esteem? Like I'm saying myself, kiss Sundays, it always needs to happen. And um I just hype myself up. Like I hype myself up. Self-awareness is the best thing because the moment you're aware about the things that bring your self-esteem down, you can work on them. Granted, certain things you can't work on them because what is that Child, i promise you weird things keep happening to me but um certain things you can't work on them just because you can't but whatever you can then you can work on it you know and boosting my self-esteem like i make sure that i don't what can i say like i get everything done and like type of thing you know what i'm saying i make myself also i make myself cute every single day now I can be at home, but I'm still gonna make myself. That makes you feel better. That makes you think like you're the shit. But because you are the shit, like sis, you are the shit. You need to tell yourself you're the shit. If you don't tell yourself you're the shit, then how are you gonna come ask other people? Yeah, how do I do this? No, you need to tell. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, Oof. "My mother worked hard, bitch. This shit is emotional." But yeah, I'm actually gonna cry. Oh my gosh. <coughs> I just want. <laughs> you can try to better yourself. But always remember that when you work when you work on your self-esteem, your self-confidence and yourself, it's for yourself, not for anyone else, or not for you to be perceived better or to come across as more likable to other people. Always work on these things for yourself, not because of anyone else. And trust and believe it's gonna work out in your favor, babe. But yeah, um you need to hype yourself up. Like you need to hype yourself up and get yourself and say, I know, I'm glad. I'm fly, okay. Um, the next question: the difference between no, I have a girlfriend, and sorry, I have a girlfriend. Sorry, I have a girlfriend is like, oh shame, man. The thing is, I'm caught up in a situation right now. But if I wasn't, or if there's a crack in the door, or if we get into an argument, I'm a smash. Let me tell you, yeah. The difference between no, I have a girlfriend, and sorry, I have a girlfriend. No, I have a girlfriend is like, <laughs> I don't want you. And even if I was more cocked, I still don't want you. 
no i have a girlfriend means no i don't want you like even if there's a crack on the door but if i don't want you don't yay like stay away and sorry i have a girlfriend it's like oh uh, shame i have a girlfriend i must say do uh, uh, but i still want you but um, like nice sorry i have a girlfriend it's like okay like you you can stay around um you can be around me you know i'll hit you up when something goes wrong like if my man is not gonna say no i have a girlfriend then guys you want to think about me i'm the serious type i'm the serious type and it's like oh, damn sorry i have a girlfriend it means you want her means you try to say to her haha yeah i'm calf but <laughs> you still dollar. no you can't tell her no not when I'm your girlfriend, but you know what? Because mm -hmm. I'm a sexy motherfucker. But yeah, I think that's the difference because that's how I understand it. But yeah. Um, Number nine says a friendship breakups. The weirdest thing to ever go through. <laughs> so I've had a lot of fake friends in my life. Like, damn, I'm still so young. And a lot of people have found me dirty. But like I'm saying, you can stop being friends with someone, but you can still wish the best for that person. You can still, like, you know, be nice to that person type of thing, yeah, but I'm saying, like, I wish up, we used to be friends, we used to like each other, why all of a sudden now we must hate each other, we must beef each other, we want to fight each other, yeah, you want me to hit you, like, no, it doesn't work like that, just, you know, you know, just leave the people, leave the people, like, you're not friends anymore, what you still gonna go through beefing the person, you wish them the best, and that's all, you forget about it. Go get other friends. Thank you. Friendship breakups hurt more than relationship breakups sometimes. Sometimes friendships expire and there's no bad blood or anything, but you guys outgrew each other. And I feel like it's very difficult to tell people that we've, outgrew we've outgrown each other because people want to think, oh, you're trying to make yourself better. But sometimes, genuinely, if you don't leave... A situation that you've outgrown or if you don't leave an expired situation it ends up becoming toxic and we don't want that but yeah friendship breakups the next question um would you teach someone how to love you or are you just not dealing with that first of all i don't believe in teaching people how to love me i want to see the love that you have to offer and then see if i want to do with that or not okay I am just not dealing with that, okay? I'm not gonna, if you can't love me, like, I must learn what I must teach you. I must teach you, sorry, how to love me. Like, what's the point? So that means you don't love me. Basically, you don't love me. Sometimes people are not willing to love you the way that you want to be loved. And they don't do, they don't think you deserve the love that you want, okay? And why am I learning a person who doesn't think that I deserve love or to be loved the way that I want to be loved. Nah, I will exceed your love. I want to experience your love. And then I will decide if I want to continue experiencing that type of love. I can't do that. Like, I can't do that. I feel like the feelings need to be mutual. And I'm not going to force someone to love me. I'm not going to, if you don't love me, you don't love me. I wish up. I'm not going to force you to do it. Like, I wish up. You know? Yeah. No. I'm not about to teach you how to love me. I am not the love teacher, okay? There is no subject called the love or love. And I'm not about to be that teacher, please, eh? No. Question 11. How to deal with situationships? You don't. You don't. Personally, I feel like you should not deal with it now. It's a situation. Why, why do you want to have situations in your life? Don't you have enough situations? I mean, school is already a big mazara situation. And you want to put more situations on top of that? You don't deal with situations, please. If you're in a triangle, girl, I've been, I've been a pen, I've been in a pen, I have been in a pentagon before. <sighs> Do you know how deep that is? <laughs> a whole pentagon. Ah, guys, this change, one change for girls. Wait, huh? Okay. Like I said, you either obsessed with me. You want to get married with me tomorrow at 9 a.m. at home affairs or not? <laughs> Why are we stuck up in a situation? It's already a situation that you're trying to be a situation. You want to be... Nah, you don't deal with situations, please. Please, don't make me mad. Oh, these topics get me so angry. 
Anyways. <laughs> At this point, I just feel like you're not gonna deal with it. And if it gets to that point where, like, you let it in a situation, you don't know about it, you let that person know, there's no what you're gonna fuck with. And if they still wanna fuck with you, they're gonna cut that person off. But we're not doing that. We're not doing situationships anymore. Like, we're not doing that. Like, that's just gonna break you. Now you're not trust. Now you become a trust issue. Like, personally, I feel like once it starts, you stop it. You let that person know, hi, I'm not gonna do this. And that person is still, they don't know what they want. Don't be with people that don't know what they want. If you know what you want, you wanna go look for what you want, or that's gonna come to you, but don't steal with people like that, okay? Yes, thank you. How to get over body insecurities and stand up for yourself when you're being body shamed? Okay, um, I'm still trying to figure that out. I don't know how to stand up for myself when I'm being body shamed. Like I'm saying, um, I, I think I've been through that, but I'm like, oh, hi guys, I'm fat. fat. But it's fine. I, I love me. Like, I love me. I take care of myself. Like, me taking care of myself, that just boosts my confidence to the next level. Like, I know I'm the shit. Like, I know. Look at me. I know I'm the shit. The best solution that I've ever found is to not fight back because the more you fight back, the more they try to prove a point and the more they say the things that will hurt you. So I just shut up. I'd make you talk and then you're gonna look like a bob at the end of the day i'm not engaging in that type of situation i'm you have no right to talk about my body but like i don't understand it's so simple don't talk about my body i won't talk about yours and case closed like what is it what bothers you about my body so much like you can see a little bit of this a little bit of that why is it bothering you to a point where you're body shaming me it's a you problem not a me problem how you see me it's not my responsibility. Deal with it. <laughs> that ain't my responsibility, girl. Deal with it. I, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I didn't give you your eyes. So how is it my fault that you look at the things that... How, how is it my fault that you look at the things the way that you look at them? Please. I just feel like you should entertain it because... Should it? Like, that's you. You need to love you first. Like... Don't, don't worry about what other people think because people are always going to have opinions on you they're always going to have something to say and it's like yeah there's one quote that i saw someone told me they're like if you're the lion why are you worrying about the ship's opinion like dude you're the ship why are you about? no we're not doing that it's 20 20 to oh, like we're not doing that okay so yeah since so personally i feel like you just don't care about it Incorporating self-care into your daily, weekly, and or monthly routine. Like I'm saying, every Sunday, I have my self-care um, days where I'm like, okay, every Sunday I'm going to do it. People think that self-care is this huge time or like this massive period of time that you take out of your day, your month, your week, your year, or whatever. Self-care could be as little as scrubbing your feet before you go to bed. But yeah, like personally, I feel like you need to have yourself here. Like you need to take care of yourself. Like you're a lady now, you need to take care of yourself. And you're not doing it for other people, you're doing it for you, like I said, doing it. Self-care can be as little as brushing your hair, moisturizing it before you go to bed or in the morning or what, whenever. Self-care can be as little as choosing not to respond to people that choose to deliberately misunderstand you that is self-care so how to go about it sundays you just make sure that you you take that day come from church or whatever or you can even do it at night to start to week of fresh you know what i'm saying you take that day i feel like sunday is the best because during the week you're always busy saturdays you might not sundays it's a chill day you can get all of that done so yeah self-care is not listening to sad songs to make you even more sad Okay, self-care is trying to find something that will make you happy when you're sad. That is self-care. It's the little things that count. It's the little things that add up to loving yourself or caring for yourself a lot more. The next question is, do you think you have found your style in terms of fashion, um, your aura and just who you are? I don't think I've found my style, my aura and all of that yet, but I think I'm headed in the right direction. There's a specific way or a specific style of dressing that I like and i was starting to be like girl okay i've thrown away pieces of clothing that don't make sense things that i've kept because mang mang bought for me that i didn't even like things that i bought because I, it's purple and i liked it <laughs> i think i know who i am i think i have found my style 
um but yeah but um i'm headed in the right direction and i just had to be honest with myself like again spending time with myself made me realize who i am i was a very on the trends type of person not too much but i did follow trends to a certain extent and you can get a little bit lost in the source okay lost in the source is a term it is a thing and it just takes dismantling everything just what it dissect everything ask yourself why you like this if it's because it's trending then it's probably not your style i just know who i am like my mother has taught me like from a very young age like you need to own who you are like you know what i'm saying there's a certain type of lady I want to become. There's a girl that I envisioned my entire life that I want to become. And every day, okay, not every day, that's gonna sound like every day I'm doing something dif different and drastic and wow. But most of the time, I try to work towards becoming that girl, okay. There's certain things that I don't do anymore that I used to do, okay. These, I just, to me, it was my last year of high school. There were things that I used to do in grade eight that I simply will not do today a lot okay I, I can't even think of one in my hair right now so yeah and if you lost i feel like you know check in with yourself check in with your mental health do all of that stuff like you you need to know who you are you need to own who you are like i'm saying and but um my aura i don't mix around with people who are not good energy for me or like who are not good vibes for me and that's okay it's literally okay it's okay to remove yourself from situations because they're not good for you not necessarily hate the person or have beef with the person nah you're cool as a person but i don't think you're good for me and if someone wants to come and tell me the same thing i'll take it because do whatever makes your soul happy do whatever makes your soul smile yeah in terms of fashion i feel like i'm like a girly girl like i'm a girly girl and it's in you like it's in you like you know like you, you know what i'm saying you know what, what 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 you must do like there is a certain girl that i envisions chantal to be the girly who always has her hair done her nails are always in check it doesn't have to be acrylics or press-ons um her nails are always clean shaped nicely she's wearing jewelry did you guys see i'm wearing jewelry today and yeah always checking with yourself mental health make sure it's okay self-care to boost your confidence and do all of that stuff and don't give a fuck about the toxic people okay so yeah if you guys made it this far into the video make sure that you like the video comment on the video and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you'll never miss an upload from wonderful channel from our wonderful channels thank you for watching we love you guys bye That'll be the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to join the family. Please do not forget to check out Shamika's video. Don't forget to check out her channel. Subscribe to her channel, okay? Give her some love. Go show her some love. Tell her you from from Chantal's video and just spread some love, man. I mean, it's the festive season after all, baby. What do you have to lose? But that'll be the end of today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll, sh oh. and I'll see you guys in my next video.